Aloha, I'm Reverend Dr. Glenn Swartow at Healing Oasis here in Hilo, Hawaii. And for the last almost 30 years, I've been uh, working with healing with clients around the world uh, who can't always come here to see me in person, but we've been able to help people overcome all kinds of health issues by, uh, by emphasizing what you can do at home in your own comfortable healing environment. You know, I think all of us, when we feel sick, we don't want to be in a hospital. Uh, we want to be at home, and that, it's the best place for us to heal. It's our, our comfort zone where we have everything that, around us that, that we need and, and family support. So uh, there's a lot that can be done, and I want to introduce to you a system called NES, Nutri Energetic Systems, and uh, technology uh, for remote scanning to, for us to be able to evaluate the energy patterns in your body, how your body is constantly healing itself, which of those types of, of healing patterns are active at a given time. We can tell energetically through electronics, through the internet, with a little, uh, little hand scanner that looks like a computer mouse but it's basically able to send signals to the body, electromagnetic signals, which is how the body communicates internally. We know that the nervous system carries electromagnetic signals. It's how we measure an EEG. The heart has its signaling, and the heart is also part of our information processing and consciousness. In fact, it's really the center. Uh, uh, when we get off center and just in our head, that can be a big part of stress in life. In fact, when we measure toxins in human tissues, we find that half of those toxins are from our head stress about things that, because we're not heart-centered in, in life, we're, we're thrown off balance by that, and we don't integrate all of our functions. The heart is the, in, the great integrator, the great unifier. Uh, you know, the, the emotions of the heart, like love and joy and gratitude, help to bring all the different systems of the body into coherence with each other so that as one team, the team can get a lot more accomplished than when the different parts of the team are distracted and working on different uh, multitasking projects. We all know that multitasking really doesn't work efficiently. It's, it's uh, sort of a divide and conquer, so we unify and then we can conquer the stress. So the, the, the hand scanner uh, is this uh, little device that'll plug into your computer. There's free uh, software for your desktop to, to operate it. And that connects you to our computer and our software here. And we're connected to the Nest system, which they've got offices in California. Their main office is in London, England. They've got offices, multiple offices on the, on <clears throat> the European continent, as well as Australia, where uh, Peter Fraser, the, the acupuncturist who put together the 30, year, 30 years of research based on uh, German diagnostic electroacupuncture, the Vega test method, which is how I started 30 years ago as well. Uh, he was fascinated by the resonance, the biocommunication, the, the, the similarities and how the body reacts uh, to different signals, signals from, from organs, signals from different meridians, signals uh, internally related to different emotional states, the, the chemistry of different compounds, the terrains in the body, the systems of the body, and it's, it's all this uh, web that has no weaver, like uh, author Ted Kapchuk wrote about many years ago, a wonderful book that looks at the, the, the energetics and biocommunication that's so central and core to oriental medicine that the Western uh, science now we're just catching up to be able to measure these things for example acupuncture points you know uh, for uh, for a long time the Western science just assumed that that these were it didn't really exist they didn't they, they looked and said I don't see a point there but now we can measure electronically we can measure many different ways and the acupuncture points are, we now know the anatomy the microstructure of an acupuncture point is where there's a neurovascular bundle so for, for many years, uh, you know, Western science kind of assumed that oriental medicine was just uh, <clears throat> not really grounded in, in, in anything that we could measure or see. But now we, we can see at the acupuncture points, there's actually neurovascular bundles that penetrate from the deeper layer of tissue in the body that connects into the rest of the body electronically, all the organs and systems. 
and where those neurovascular bundles, an artery, a vein, and a nerve, penetrate through a layer of superficial fascia, which is an insulating layer that insulates our inner internal systems from the, the outer environment, where that penetrates out into, and feeds and, and draws from the, the skin, the integument, the outer layer that interfaces with the environment. So, uh, and there have been studies, for example, where they inject radio-opaque dyes into an acupuncture meridian and, and, and then photograph that, uh, uh, that uh, like, like x-ray, uh, photograph how that moves, and it shows that it actually moves, the dyes will move in the direction of the flow of the meridian as described in oriental medicine. In fact, they'll, when they get to these uh, openings in that fascia, layer that it'll well up and form a little circle at each acupuncture point. And there's multiple different ways that, that that can be measured. They can even measure now when they put a needle into an acupuncture point, the, the shape of the, of the point, it's, it's, a, it's a little area, a little, uh, I would call it a plasmoid, a, 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 a space, a three-dimensional space. And what it does, it's like an egg shape, but when you put a needle into that point, the shape of that plasmoid wraps around in a spiral, wraps around the needle, just like uh, Birkeland currents in, in plasma physics. And you know that the, the term plasma in physics came from, for the state of matter of plasma, came from the biological concept of plasma, which is this <coughs> electromagnetic carrier in the biological tissues, whether it's the blood plasma uh, or the, the cytoplasm, meaning plasm, plasma of the cell. So here's our little device, Nest Health, from the company in England. And you can get one of these, plug it into your computer, download the free software. And <clears throat> in about 20 seconds of placing your hand on, on that device, uh, the signals will be sent for all, all the different energy patterns that uh, acupuncturist Peter Fraser uh, developed in his mapping of body resonance over 30 years of research, and uh, it scans and finds out which ones of those your body is, is reacting to, so which are active in your biocommunication system at that time. And we can do further testing to determine which ones of those are, are the therapeutic uh, patterns that, that we can feed back to the system through water by putting drops in your water that, that carry those therapeutic, uh, basically blueprints of perfect health. To, you know, modern medicine now is all about epigenetics. You know, for, for many years, it was all the genetic code and, and we thought that defines life. But the genetic code can be turned on and turned off by signals from the environment, by the biocommunication between parts of our body and between our body and the environment. So uh, it's really the cutting edge of, of Medicine. It's, this is actually electromagnetic medicine. Is what we use in modern space flight. When you go to space, you've got a crew on a ship and a limited amount of supply of materials, including water. So you have to recycle everything. You can't bring a pharmacy. It's too heavy. You'd need too many different drugs. And not only that, if you could bring it, if it was already there, you couldn't use it because you'd contaminate the water supply and the recycling system. Thank you.